Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how to make this super cute but super easy fondant donut. Okay, so to begin with I coloured some fondant a donut colour using autumn leaf sugar flare food colouring paste and I'll leave a link to everything that I use in this tutorial in the description so you can take a closer look later. Okay, so I've got 30 grams of this fondant and I've kneaded to a pliable and I'm just going to roll it into a ball shape. So once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to flatten it slightly. It's probably about a centimetre thick. So now I'm going to put the hole in the donut. And to do this, I'm going to use the open end of a piping nozzle. But firstly, I'm just going to pop a little bit of cling film on top of my fondant. And then I'm going to make sure I'm in the middle there with my piping nozzle. And I'm just going to push all the way down. Now the cling film helps to get a little curved edge as you push it into the middle but also prevents the fondant sticking into your piping nozzle. You want to press down quite firmly so you make a nice clean cut and you should see there that I've got a nice little curved ridge going in the, towards the middle of the donut but I'm just going to further smooth that off with my fingers and also turn it over and just smooth off the underneath as well. So once I was happy with the shape of my donut, what I did is I just put it to one side just for like 30 minutes just to firm up a little bit before I add a little bit more definition using some squirrel brown edible dust. You don't have to do this but I just think it makes a nice little bit of definition. Now I can't emphasise don't have too much on your brush, get all the excess off on a kitchen towel and then just gently go around the side of your donut and you can see there the definition that it's just bringing in. A more of a baked definition there. I'm mainly going to focus on the bottom part of the side, not the top because that's where the icing's going to go. So I'm just going to go all around the side there. Okay, so now I'm happy with that, I'm going to do the icing. And to do this, I've made some pink icing using some hot pink food colouring paste by Sugar Flare. And I'm just going to roll this out to a few millimetres thick. And you'll see why we need it to be that thick later. So here you can see it's a few millimetres thick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my wavy edge cutter, which you can see here. I'm just going to cut out the shape. Just going to wiggle it a bit so we get some nice clean edges. There we go. And now I'm going to use the piping nozzle, which we use to make the hole in the donut to make a hole in the middle of the icing. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so now I'm just going to simply stick this on top of the donut. Depending on your fondant, it might stick without any help. If not, you can use an edible glue. First of all, I'm just going to go around the middle, just gently pushing it down and then pressing it slightly and then pushing it just to, so it's not an even cover. So it looks a bit like the icing has dripped down a little bit. So we're doing the middle first. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around and gently pull out the wavy edged shape, all different. So it looks like drips. And this is why you wanted it to be a little bit thicker. So it gives you the ability just to pull some of them out and you'll get some different size drips and length drips to make it look more like icing. And then once you're happy, just gently tease it around the hole of the donut. I hope you can see that there. See, they're all different. And it looks like the icing has just dripped down. Okay, so now I'm going to add the sprinkles. And I'm using Colour Up Sprinkles by Happy Sprinkles. I just love them. And all I'm going to do is pop the sprinkles on top of the fondant icing. Now, depending on how sticky your icing is, you might be able to just pop it in there and it stays, or you can use an edible glue to help it stick. You can see here that it's just sticking for me okay. So I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to pick what sprinkles I want and pop them into position. You can, if you want, use a ball tool just to go around and just push them into the fondant just to secure them. Again, this helps because you've made it a little bit thicker. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of edible glue just to put some of the balls on, just to give more of a 3D effect to the donut as well. Just gonna pop that there. 
Okay, so I'm just going to carry on finishing my donut. And there it is. So this is the end of your tutorial. I really hope that you found it useful. Please don't forget to check out my other ones. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.